guys, I am Chris Kaler and I'm Amber Foss of Gajane Cosplay and today we are back on the guys with Come Have You Up! Episode 3! <laughs> yeah, so last episode Spike went on another mission mm -hmm. to find a pet thief yep. and uh, the bounty was pretty high but then again we ended up not getting anything because we screwed up. To be fair, this episode we screwed up because we saved the dog he was after instead. Yeah. So that's just proof to me that despite what he's saying, Spike has a heart. So that's cool. And we have a dog now. And it looks we like because dog. I was looking at some thumbnails for episode two and uh, that dog came back. So apparently we're keeping him. <laughs> I see. I saw some fan arts with the dog. So the dog is a thing. It's staying. And I'm right. really happy about that because it's going to bring some joy perhaps on the Biba. Song Mayhem too? <laughs> yeah, but I mean, we kind of need the life. So, uh, yeah, that we was... We cannot keep sulking by practicing our judo and stuff. Yeah, no? by looking, you know, smoking, looking into the, into space and depressing for a reason we still don't know. But yeah, this is yeah. this has been the... the the everyday life on the on the vessel, so on the ship. So hopefully that some, dog can change some things. We need some life. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So I mean that that's pretty much what happened. Not much character development yet. So I'm excited to see more of that. I say we just jump straight into episode three and see what the next adventure is. All right. Let's go. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. I almost forgot. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see when these episodes come out and check out our Patreon for the full reactions. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> three, two, one, let's jam. <laughs> 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 that is for the whole season. Yes. <laughs> I learned a three, two, one, let's jam. So at least I got a little bit of the lyrics. <laughs> I'd like to visit a community like this. I don't think I would like to live in a community like this, where space is accessible to everyone. The amount of pollution must be incredible. <laughs> Hey! Character, main character, I think, right? Our first, uh, she's in the opening. She's one of our teammates in the future. Is she a crook? <laughs> I mean, like every character in this show, she is cool. <laughs> Bear. Oh, that isn't fair, guys. Come on. Imagine you're going to a, a street fight, you bring guns, and <laughs> one of them bring a bazooka. <laughs> <laughs> um, rocket launcher? Tonky yeah. tongue woman. What has she done, though, to deserve this? Something bad. Really, really bad. Oh, Poker Alice. So she took her name then. Perhaps. <laughs> She's a gambler, so I don't know how she ends up with us. <laughs> She's gonna be funny enough, I guess. No, no, no. You have no fucking money. Why would you even try to go here? To make money. I know he had a dream, but that's a bit stupid. Unless they're very good. Um, with the shitty luck that we have, I don't think well, so. Well, no, the shitty luck that Spike has. Maybe Jet's good. <laughs> but then if she's known as a gambler, professional crook and stuff, can we win against her if she's working for the establishment? 
Let's see what we're talking about, shitty luck? I'm not sure that's us on the picture. <laughs> but then, you know. そして最後に残した一枚の切符をディーラー切符として君に渡す。君の借金など宇宙の中の一秒に等しくなるものだ。ラストです。俺は運がいいわけでも腕がいいわけでもないんだ。じゃあ何が？切符がいいのさ。<
Nani shiru? Yeah, we'll see if it holds true. The receive and, and, and get. No, the receive and give. <笑>ブレーカーってのがある何しろほとんどの暗号を解読してプロテクトを外せるいや、警察とISSPが血眼になって<笑> 魔法の鍵の値段としちゃ安いもんだろう。よかろう。I mean, we're not cops. We're bounty hunters. Money yeah. is... <laughs> I know. I know I'm on. I'm a bit afraid First of... Pressing it online, you know, yeah. I'm a bit afraid of what they would do with this, though. It's cool. So but dangerous, but cool. We are a bunch... We are bounty hunters. Money yeah. is in a is first in our mind. That's exactly. But we yeah. we do have a heart, and we don't want bad people to win. Yeah, when it comes right? to dogs and stuff, like I'm pretty sure they're not gonna give away Faye. Eventually, I I don't know. Like she ends up in our group, but this is a chip. Maybe she won't have a choice because they're just there for the chip. They don't care about her. Unless they are, you know, trying to manipulate them and give them something fake. お互い3つ数える。そこでこちらはトランクのマグネットを切り、そちらに飛ばす。そちらは尺をこちらへ飛ばす。オッケーだ。1。2。3。He's not dumb. He's not dumb at all. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> Fighting in space. <laughs> Trying to, you know, move like that. <laughs> nice too. That's your six million leaving. But didn't we get 30 million? No, we didn't. They put some money in the front so they oh, think yeah, it's yeah. full of money, but... And she left with the rest of the case. <laughs> She might not join us this episode, but we will see her again. Soon. Soon, soon. She will be a... Uh, part of the group. Yeah. She will be ours. She will be yeah. ours. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, bitch! <laughs> I mean, tell me we have the chip and tell me it's not broken. <laughs> That'd be all luck, yeah? Oh. Really? They'll just, you know, leave it at the casino and it it'll be lost in all the chips. <laughs> <laughs> we will see you again! Easy, easy go, come, easy, easy go! go. Uh, okay, so she didn't join our group now. But we but met someone that survived the episode. Yep. And wasn't arrested. Yep. And he did a smile. Like, so, yeah, she's out there. We will meet her again. Yes, for sure. Probably we're gonna have to deal with her... Her debt, but... Her debt? Yeah. Uh, I don't know how much... I mean, if six million is nothing... What's her debt? <laughs> and how did she end up with the debt? Uh, cheating, stealing okay. cash, I guess. Her, the fact that she attracts trouble and she leaves destruction in her path 
means that she's she's perfect for like Spike. Spot but, on. Spot on. Yeah. yeah. But then I wonder how it will come that she's part of the group. Like, we're bounty hunters. Our job is to arrest people like her. Or are we just gonna accept that, you know, it's fine? Like, w with Ayn, he's worth a lot of money, but then our heart won over our greed, and we kept him. Well, technically, she's worth a lot of money, six million, so we can keep her, right? But then, like, and her too, like, what is she after? She's going around, uh robbing and, and dealing well she's a crook she's going mm -hmm. and she's stealing money well stealing she's cheating her way mm -hmm. through through casinos and stuff I guess uh, I don't know but and people call her uh, I don't there was the something Alice the nickname she gave herself yeah after a persona that's that existed a long time ago that used to be good at, at winning and never lost and stuff so I'm guessing she's stealing or cheating her way through through deals and stuff and that's how she she you know people are seeking her and people are after her but then how is that type of personality going to turn into a bounty hunter the fact that you know it supposedly pays at one point <laughs> is it a thing um, that we're going to meet again save one another and and we're going to become friends spike did smile i think he likes her he likes her personality well she got spirits He's got, a thing for, to talk to. he's got a thing for criminals, criminal women. <laughs> yeah, it's we, true. We can say that, yeah. He had a connection with that first woman in the first episode, and he felt really bad when she died. And again, he has a connection with her here. And even though she stole the money he was trying to get. But then again, like, and we ended up with the chip that was our only way to maybe get money. But i really like that they're kind of in the gray area like they'd rather lose the chip than give it to uh the police or give it to crooks you know instead of seeking someone that that wants it for money they're just gonna let it disappear because i'm pretty sure like if they are looking after that chip that much it's worth money yeah but like I mean, he was willing that guy was willing to pay a lot of money to get it so well, I mean, to he was willing know. to pay. He to was us, no. <laughs> he was willing to kill us. Yeah, but I mean, I, I guess that even though we are bounty hunters, money comes first, then uh, the morals and stuff. We don't really want bad guys to win. I mean, if they're trying to kill us, yeah, definitely not. <laughs> but I mean, we could have given them the chip, and they could have done anything they want with it, but. That's they were us. never gonna let us leave. No, but we could have. If anything we were about went right, to, we were about to. Come on. Although, we never saw that deal, you know, to the end. So I don't know if they truly intended to give them the chip or if they all they knew. Yeah, I don't think. I don't think. And uh, the, anyway, in first place, we uh, the we didn't trust the the crooks to give us the money. First place, and second, like I said, they don't want bad guys to win it's true it's not like he noticed something and then he yeah. he, he, he hid or anything I, I mean, he literally was waiting for that thing he, mm -hmm. it's like he, he he's got great instincts he just knew they were probably not gonna you know let them go with with the money and so the plan was really just to somehow get the money in the case and then and keep the chip and then keep i'm, the, I'm keep pretty the chip. sure that was the pl uh, their plan all along yeah okay uh Jet says something about the cops and the ISSP looking for that ship. And then he says he used to be a part of the ISSP. Yeah. It's an underground, like, dark society, I guess. I don't know what they do. I don't know what they stand for. But he used to be a part of, of that group. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, he's uh, they're not... I don't know what uh, what Spike used to do. I don't. But now we know that Jet wasn't completely clean before that. Uh, that really sets them in the gray area for me, which would explain why they're bounty hunters and not cops. Uh, I read somewhere that, uh, because I was looking at the, at the summary for the show, and apparently bounty hunters were, you know, created. Like, the, it's, it, it became a true job when the crime rate started raising a lot. Mm -hmm. So the, it's, it's kind of legal. It's not just like we're running around. Like, there's a reason. That's why they have a TV show for bounty hunters. So it's All it's right. a legal job, but still as a bounty hunter, there's a reason why it's called cowboy bebop. You know, it's not, you're not a sheriff, you're not a cop, but 
you're not a criminal either. You're in the middle, so you're allowed to try and make deals with crooks. You're well, you're allowed. It's fine if you do. And it looks like Jet used to be more on the dark side or the 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 shady <laughs> the dark side, side of least. things. <laughs> yeah. So I wonder. I was wondering if we were gonna get some some information about his past. So we did a little bit. Do you think that Spark maybe used to be a cop before he met Jet? Maybe. Maybe, but then why is he not a cop anymore if he was? Backstory? <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> so, okay, uh, I, I don't know if we're ever going to learn more about what the ISSP does or, you know... I think that's going to come back soon, so yeah. Probably. Perhaps. Like, we need to learn more about that, but it's interesting to see, you know, that he wasn't uh, completely... Clean before clean. That. Yeah, let's say that. And uh, that makes me wonder how he met Jet, uh, how he met Spike, and uh, why they decided to team up. So this is all stuff I'd like to to figure out eventually. Oh, we, we got time. We got like what? Well, apparently is all left. Something. Apparently, that's the whole point of the show. Oh. To you know see what brought them here, what's their trauma, why, what they're dealing with, and kind of discover you know what makes them them today. So mm. it's all a, a it's a story of discovering the character. But you did say, guys, that technically Cabo Bebop is more of a episodic episode, yes. and and those we're gonna have backstories with the characters. So I'm, well, a, there bit, are I'm, I'm a bit sad that we don't have a full no, no, story all along. We do have one. It's oh, it's exactly already? like Samurai Champloo. Oh, okay. We we do have kind of a, a general story, but it's mostly an episode an episodic. Mm -hmm. show which it was exactly the same with Samurai Champloo. We kind of have a goal for the end but we barely ever mentioned that goal. We usually you know spend the episode focusing on an adventure here and there so we're following their adventures. What, meanwhile we're trying to understand how they got here and what makes them them. So what's the trauma from Spike? Why? Like, what was that thing with the uh, the flowers? The trauma with the girls and uh, what made him him? Mm -hmm. What we're gonna have to try and figure out like what did he used to do before and why he turned into hey. a bounty hunter? One question for you: If and I said if Spike used to be a cop, maybe yeah. he was an undercover cop. He went uh, on a job, and met, like met, a met, woman. Met, met a criminal woman, <laughs> fell in love with her, and when. Uh, it shit hit the shit fan. Shit hit the fan, and decided to go dark afterwards. I don't know. That could be it. I don't know. Uh, he seemed to have uh, in the first episode. He he had a strong opinion of, you know, a bad opinion apparently about Mars and mm -hmm. how stuff was going on there. Like like he was born on Mars, and when when people you know say when the girl said she dreamt of going there and stuff, he's like, well, I mean, only the rich get to live there. So that in my that made me feel like he didn't have a good life on Mars. So I wondered if that had something to do with uh, what he is today and why he left, perhaps. But uh, maybe he used to be a cop. That would make sense with, you know, how he's fighting, how he's, you know, how he's, how good he is at his job. And, and he's not, you know, he's not completely tainted either. Mm -hmm. He's looking after that dog and stuff. But he's still very troubled. But we'll have to discover that. And same thing with Jet. Like, now we know he used to be part of an organization that's kind of shady. So what did he used to do in there? How did he lose, how did he lose his arm? <laughs> that's another question. How did he... Why did he left? And how did he meet with Spike? And why did they team up? And we also have a new character now that we need to wonder, you know, how did she end up in so much debt? Where did she come from? That's the whole point of this show. To find out, you know, basically... It's kind of like saying, you know, we'll, we're going to meet people in our, in our life and we're, we're going to assume stuff about them. But everyone has a story. Everyone comes from somewhere. And uh, what we are today, you know, is the result of all those uh, experiences that we went through. And yeah. in this case, it's significant because they are the main characters. So we'll have to see what well, it is. Just like with Samurai Champloo, we just, we just need to stay tuned and wait for the next song to play, which is yeah. episode four. Yeah. So... Thank you guys for watching this episode with <laughs> us. Yes. It was uh, interesting to sing uh, Faye Valentine. Nice. She's got a personality. I think she, she, will fit, she will fit right in in the group. Of she, we just she need would. to find out how that's going to happen. But yeah, it will happen. She's in the opening, right? And she's in the photos for the live action too. Mm. I don't know about that fourth character. I didn't see him or her in the, in the live action photos. Not, not yet. But uh, I saw Faye, so I know she's coming back. There you go.
But still, yeah, good episode. Glad to see that even in the end, and they ended up not giving it either to the ISSP because there's gotta be a reason why Jet left, and I'm pretty sure it would not help them if you know he he left in the first place. Yeah. And didn't give they didn't give it to the cups either, so that puts them in a gray area, and that to me makes them the best type of characters. I love to root for a great character that's more you know realistic. But uh, yeah, I'm excited for the rest of the show, and I'm excited to see Faye again. So cool. thank you guys so much for watching this episode with us. If you want to see the next one right away, it is on Patreon already. Mm -hmm. You can check it out. The link is in the description below. Yep. And if you don't, the next one will be out on YouTube next week, guys. So stay tuned. Bye.